Dave, and together with our dogs Bell and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our Casita travel trailer. Come see where we go next. So today we are in Petowski, Michigan, and uh, we're currently at Magnus Park, which is right on the shore of Lake Michigan. Beautiful views here. I'm just looking at the sunset right now. And uh, as promised, we've been traveling with my in-laws and uh, they have this Escape 21C trailer that's uh, behind me. So I thought I'd give everyone a tour of this trailer. This is a 2015. They actually purchased it used, um, but the previous owner took really, really good care of it. So for my in-laws, this was their first trip taking it out. Um, but as you'll see, as we tour the trailer, it's in excellent, perfect condition. Um, really impressed with, uh, with the way the previous owner kept it. So we'll start with a quick tour of the exterior, and then I'll take you for a tour of the inside. All right, so as I mentioned, this is the 21C model. 2015. We'll do a pretty quick tour on the outside. So spot for two propane tanks. It's a fairly large storage container on the front, which is probably one of the features about this trailer that I like the best. Um, it can fit so much outdoor gear and um, it just, it, it solves the problem of trying to figure out where you're going to store all of those dirty, sandy things that you don't really want to put in the trailer while traveling. Sometimes you also don't want to put in your vehicle. So as we tour around the outside, you can see we're set up at the campsite right now. So you've got a storage compartment, which you can see straight in front of me here. And that goes just about all the way through. When we go inside afterwards, you'll see that that compartment is a storage underneath the bed. So really big storage for a trailer of this size. Next, we've got an outdoor shower, hot and cold water, and we've got our furnace here, we've got our cable hookup. Escape did a really good job of uh, putting outdoor lighting. So we have this one outdoor light here, so if you're trying to drain your sewer, late at night that's kind of nice to have and we've got our fresh water intake and city water intake and our power just looking at the back of the trailer here so this particular model has is one that has the bed at the front of the trailer and the dining room at the back got a nice big awning there we've actually used that a few times during this trip we've had uh, either some really sunny days or some slightly drizzly days and that's come in quite handy. You can see that in this situation they've also brought an outdoor table with them, outdoor folding table. So it's kind of nice we've cooked out outside a few nights where they've been cooking on their table and we've been cooking on our table in our casita. So let's, uh, let's next go inside and have a closer look. So the first thing I find really neat about this trailer, first glance you might be like, well, where's the screen door? Well, the way that Escape has designed this one is it's actually a sliding screen door. So there it is with the screen door closed. You can hardly tell that there's a screen door there. And if I just unlatch this again now, screen door retracts just like that. So that's kind of a nice feature. So as we come inside, you'll notice that the first thing here is our bed. It's actually a fair sized bed. I think this is a double bed, although it may be a queen. I'll have to confirm that. Got um, some storage all around the top here. This particular model um, has tons of storage. I was shocked and maybe that's because we're used to our 17 foot casita. 
but uh, it's amazing how much you can fit in here. Got the little shelf above the bed as well, and a window right next to the bed. We've got our max air vent right up there. This trailer is fitted out with all LED lighting, which is nice for the power consumption. You'll notice that the door here, there's actually uh, a curtain that's been built in as well by Escape. And uh, you noticed earlier probably that there is a window on the door. So you wanna stop that sunlight from coming in in the morning and close this curtain and uh, we're able to keep it nice and dark in here. So next what we have here is the wet bath. All right, so again, a pretty good size, definitely bigger than our 17 foot casita. Lots of room to be able to get in and walk around. You've got the toilet. A little sink there. One thing that is lacking in this washroom, there is no storage. In our casita, we do have some storage, but uh, otherwise, a pretty good setup. I'm 5'9", and I come nowhere near touching the ceiling. Dave is 6'2". He would probably be crouching in there a little bit, but you know what? For the amount of time that you would use this shower, it's not bad at all. So next, as I look next to the main entrance door, really cool, lots of little storage compartments here for quick access type things. So my in-laws have a dog, so you can see the dog leashes are in here. They've got some little containers with sunscreen and any kind of quick grab items that you might need when you're about to run outside. Next, we will come around to the kitchen. So we've got our sink, we've got our stovetop, and this one does come with an oven. Um, so that's a neat little feature too. I know a lot of people like to be cooking in ovens even when they're on the road. And you can see, again, there's a lot of storage space in here. And I'll just show you inside some of these. These are so organized. Labeled and everything. So my in-laws have uh, purchased some dollar store containers. And they're able to easily pull these in and out. You've got glassware in this one, coffee supplies in this one. So that's pretty neat. If you're a person who likes to stay organized, it's a really good way of doing it. You've got dishes in there mugs in a blender and then if we look under the sink here another nifty little thing is this garbage can so for such a small cupboard it's kind of a really neat little garbage can i think you can get these off amazon it came with the trailer so unfortunately i can't give you a link to this but uh, you can probably find that somewhere on amazon if so we look underneath here Again, a good amount of storage. You can see these are pretty big uh, wash basins here. There's plenty of room to store them. We've got two drawers here. Again, you can see all of these drawers are very organized. And really, you've got to be organized when you're living in a small space like this. Got some more storage under the cabinet. This doesn't go back as deep. It just goes back as deep as my hand. But uh, as you can see, if you use the right kind of storage containers to organize your supplies, it can be quite helpful. And then we do have this cabinet. It does go back a little bit further, um, but again, not all the way back. As I mentioned earlier, we've got the oven and we've got a three burner stove top and vent fan. So as we continue around, we have the dinette. And uh, Dave and I and my in-laws have had um, dinners at this table many times. So four grown adults and we have plenty of room. This is a really big table. It's larger than the typical table that I would see inside um, any of these travel trailers. And actually just recently, you can actually see Pepper's bed under here. Pepper is their uh, their Scottish Terrier. You can see we've actually changed the uh, the mount for the table to something a little bit easier to use. So originally this actually comes with uh, with two mounts, 
that sit uh, next to one another to support the table. And we've actually changed to this uh, easy to maneuver mount. So it makes it really easy to push the table down and push it up when you're traveling. We've got more storage around the top here. And then we come around to a very good size fridge. So again, unusual for a 21 foot trailer to have a fridge and freezer of this size. So you can see lots of space in that freezer. And looking in the fridge again, tons of space. Definitely no lack of room in here. And this is a three-way three-way fridge, so uh, 110, 12 volt, or propane. It'll work on all three. Next to that, we have a microwave. We've got some more storage on top, and then a very large storage cabinet, which I guess is meant to be a coat closet. But in this case, you're just using it to store larger items. But I mean, huge cavernous space there again. And then we've got another set of drawers here. So we've got some utensils, other miscellaneous items. We've got the propane furnace, which none of us use our propane furnace all that much, especially if we're at a campground that's providing power, we simply plug in an electric heater if and when it's cold enough that we need it. Pepper's food dishes there. And just going back up to the top here, like I mentioned earlier, lots of storage containers. There is no TV mount that comes standard in this year of Escape. Um, so they simply have a TV just sitting on this nice little countertop, but you see there's a cable connection up there. We've got some USB adapters on the side here, as well as a nine volt adapter and a regular receptacle, so that's kind of nice as well. Do you have air conditioning in this trailer? Um, heat strips for this particular model of air conditioner were optional, and I don't believe this one has the heat strip built in. So when you're heating, you're just relying on this, uh, this furnace. Oh, just looking around again here, giving you a few last looks at what this trailer looks like. Of course, under the benches, on both sides of the table, there is some additional storage, but this is also where the battery is stored. And uh, we've got, also got a built-in surge protector over on this side. I will show you the blinds quickly. These are these are nice blinds. They, uh, they do a pretty good job of, uh, of blacking out the trailer at night, so that's good. So I know I've been promising you this tour for, uh, for quite a few days now, so thank you for being patient and uh, sticking around and waiting, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do have any questions about this particular trailer, um, let me know. My in-laws are just experiencing this for, uh, for their first time and um, have, have learned a few things along the way, and I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions. Talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned tomorrow to see where we go next.